Bayonetta, but also I know that they play Peach and I know they played Robin, but they're such a predominantly stronger teams player, I feel like. I've had the pleasure of commentating a lot of Har's single sets at some regionals too. And honestly, Har is pulling out the Bayonetta for this one. Robin too and Peach. I mean, what do you think about going Bayonetta for Rob? I mean, we know that this matchup is predominantly uh, Rob favor, right? Yeah, I still think there's bones in this matchup from a Smash game pass where you can see why this matchup's good for Bayonetta. And for it's the exact reason why most characters do good against Rob is because he's a big target. Bayonetta is still going to be able to rack up a lot of damage very quickly, and she's able to hit parts of the screen that other characters can't touch, except Rob. So things like high recoveries uh, to kind of get out of disadvantage might not necessarily always be an option here for Dill because Bayo can also go up there and chase. However, the Bayo does not have the you know the uh, the knockout potential as she had in past games. Obviously, I'm not saying anything original or new here, but Rob is going to be able to uh, maybe clean up these socks a little bit sooner. However, let's see. It's it's the start that Harz is looking for and getting the, the sparks, but no KO just yet. Honestly, you don't really need the KO when you have the momentum, right? The oh. combos are there, but you kind of needed that KO. I kind of take scoop. that back. <laughs> Regardless, though, so far, Dill going to be starting off kind of strong here. You can tell that the advantage state is very, very on point right now, but also she's playing very cautious, right? You have to. You don't want to get witch time, but Har is going to be able to find the back air and get something started nice and sweet. Yeah, you love to be able to see the immediate rebound after an SD like that. That could definitely be one to kind of set the tone early. But Har is able to right the ship. Dill is going for max damage with that up smash out of shield. So look for that to be a factor here. Let's see, once again, the downside being such a good option here, you know, especially when you're dungeon off in the corner like Bayo is right now. As Dill continues to put Ooh. the hurt on, throws the top. Oh! oh gets the double <laughs> hit with the gyro. Also pronounced Euro since we're in New York City. And uh, that's going to be a quick <laughs> two, <laughs> quick two socks to one lead here for Dill. Yeah, that one's got to hurt if you're Haras, right? You're, you're kind of like hitting yourself in the head, but the Z drop into the rotor arms here. Haras, though, going to be able to turn this around a little bit. Looking for the pickup. Will be able to find it, but great air dodge by Dill. And still, once again, Haras kind of on the receiving end of a lot of jank so far this game one. When we're in a best of five, though, that could really affect mentality right now. Yep. Okay, Air Dodge is back in once again. Dill's been able to position herself nicely to be able to punish that almost every time that Harz has shown that uh, in his repertoire. But here we go. Able to take this combo to the skies. However, still not enough for the KO. He's trying to go for the Wicked Weaves down smash to, uh, you know, net that uh, spike on Rob, but just going to come up short as uh, Dill throws out a hitbox just in time. Good pick up, though, by Harz. We're going to see the forward throw and shooting the gun just a little bit. Dill has been on point with the gyro play this game. I mean, like we said, Dill is a longtime Rob player. It only makes sense, but Harz is going to be able to even up the stop count. 106, get a little bit of rage to help you out, but now you're on the, the ledge versus Rob here. Great bats within, though, to avoid the up air. But one thing, Koopa, I have to call out about Dill. I love the way that she repositions herself every single time. She's not just waiting on the side. And the party arms will actually work out for Dill as she takes game one. Stoic as ever in the makeup on point, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. So excellent stuff there from Dill. Again, very sharp game one. Like you said, we're going to be playing a lot of long sets today. So, you know, definitely keeping that energy level as uh, low as possible to right. kind of, you know, keep your reserves its strengths are important. And as you see, kind of what's, you know, what could have potentially set the tone for the set there with that SD. Uh, but I was able to hang around for a while here. And here we take a look at the double gyro KO here. I believe nice. it was a triple. Ooh, baby oh, a triple. <laughs> nah, it was a, it was a double. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was three. Split the outfielders, it's a double. <laughs> there we go. Again, we're going to see the back hit of the <laughs> arms here. <laughs> going to connect. Hardy. Oh, yeah. It's still, it's, it's still uh, you know, New Year's here for Rob, I guess. Time is, <laughs> time is an enigma in the, the world of video games, I guess. I don't know. One of the things also that I just love about Tri-State is that I think Tri-State as a whole is a very happy region. You can tell right now both smiles on the competitor's face and having a little bit of jokes in between games, just having a good time. And honestly, I just love that personally because it goes to show, yes, we're competitors, but we're still here to have a good time. Uh, there was a tweet a while ago that I saw, and it was like, if you're not having fun unless you're winning, you're not really playing the game right. So yep. it's good to still see smiles on each other's faces. Hars, though, going to stick with the Bayonetta. So you know what? We're just going to kind of wipe that game up, game one away. We potentially have four more games to go. We love to see it. All right. So let's see what we have uh, in store here for this game two. Again, going right back to Battlefield. I don't really necessarily see, you know, I, I don't really think it's a stage where Mayo is, uh, you know, at more of an ad ad advantage uh, in this game than maybe Rob is just because, again, Rob also kind of benefits from the same things here. 
But again, I, once again, Dill's positioning proving to be on point, you know, able to fall out of that, uh, you know, that witch twist combo and able to position herself almost immediately for the punish. That was a lock right there, too. Who gets another snipe in the blast zone. Okay, here we go. Cars, though, going to be able to find the combo up here. Let's see how far they're going to be able to take it. And one, two, Ooh. three, not dead yet. Cars still trying to align in position, trying to catch Dill where she falls. It's not going to be enough. Let's see. I like how both of them are just waiting out each other's options. I feel like a lot of times when you're mashing in, you're putting yourself at a really bad disadvantage. But so far, both of them are giving a lot of respect here. Yep, back throw coming out here. And once again, Dill going for the high recovery. Dropping down with the Nair. That's something we haven't seen yet in the repertoire uh, for Harz. But again, great up air uh, to disrupt right there. Okay, Harz just going to go for the forward throw here too. This first stop being a lot more pesky than the other. Goes to show the adaptation that both players are having right now. Harz trying to read the jump, but still, Dill is not giving to him at all. Here we go. Air dodge the ledge. What do you do from here if you're just kind of going coast to coast, Koopa? Yeah, it, it's definitely tough getting off the ledge in these scenarios. That rapid jab is going to net the KO. So good stuff there from Harz. Again, just being able to position yourself where you can follow the, you know, punish the tertiary options is huge. Dropping a gyro at the ledge once again, too, as Dill setting up shop, not letting that uh, one stock deficit uh, deter her. Ooh, we're going to get a witch time here, but at which time a shell of its former self not going to be able to get the uh, insane punish that I'm sure we're all used to. Okay, Harsh just going to roll right through. And once again, you want to carry as much momentum with Bayonetta as, with Rage as possible. It's just not going to be enough. Dill going to be able to find her mark, but here comes Harsh still in the lead just a little bit. As Dill just going to go board the platforms for a quick moment, just kicking right through the gyro, just getting it right out of uh -oh. here. Okay, getting the trip on the down tilt, but not going to get the uh, the EX side beat uh, to net the KO. Okay, one, two. Still, these run up grabs from Harz are definitely coming more into place here. As Harz still lined up, going to just down tilt for a quick second, looking for the jump once again. Jumping from the ledge is something that you're always going to get called out for, but Harz now taking the lead much better this time and reading the jump. There's the F smash, still down one stop. The weaves are wicked, but in New York, they're also OD, uh, as the F smash will connect right there. As Dill, once again, on the back foot here, you know, trying to find an answer to what's been some pretty phenomenal ledge trapping, uh, you know, from Harz. Taking advantage of the fact that Rob's a big target, and Rob's like, okay, I'm just going to go to the other side now. Yeah, it's around the world at that point, right? But still, Gyro just kind oh. of messing up Harz there, allowing Dill to get its position for the F smash. Good stuff on her part. Now Harz. Yeah, I mean, it's basically even at this point, right? I mean, you've got a little bit of gyro combo, but your advantage state with Bayonetta needs to be really strong right now. Dill, though, going to fire out of the cannons here, but now we're just back to this neutral here. Nobody really wants to commit right now. Yep, but here we go. Once, once a side chooses to commit, it's been big damage on both sides. The punish potential of both these characters makes it so that you don't really want to over find yourself overextending. Uh, but once, you know, X player has found their opening, they've been able to carry it for massive damage. As once again, Harz able to convert huge here. Okay, Harz once again going to be able to find the witch twist up. Let's see if one, two, three. Rob is a little bit heavy though, so we are going to be living this one though. But now, Koopa, you have to think now you're dealing with Rob with rage too, and this is just not that comfortable for Harz here, even though he has center stage, at least for a moment still, still bringing this back extremely well. Okay, the gyro set up just perfectly there. And again, we've seen scenarios where even after a couple of specials, it looks like Harz is in, oh, <laughs> never mind. I, I'm going uh, to need a replay of that one. Devin. <laughs> <laughs> let's, take, let's take a look at what happened there, because there is a, a, a lot to watch for. Again, Dill getting uh, the lock she was looking for in the corner here. And then we're going to see, oh, OK, it looks like the gyro just ended up stage spiking. It looks potentially Harz trying to jump off the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> gyro best projectile ever. <laughs> Rob and Gyro best it's friends. Yeah. No, I, I I don't think Gyro is the best projectile. I think the way that players use it to like lock you, like go back and forth into like the Rob option of up smash, F smash, that looks cool. But I don't know. I would have to like look at all the projectiles. The best, on... the best project, project, projectile is banana. Oh, true, spin. 
absolutely spin. However, Gyro, close second for sure. <laughs> just with the versatility, uh, you know, you're able to get out of it. It just makes it so potent, and you have to really be paying attention to it at all times. So Dill definitely was treading water a lot of that last game. So you're looking, you know, Harz definitely looks like that he's picked up very nicely in the matchup here, but, you know, still having no games to show for it yet. Okay, going to Z-drop the gyro, it's going to connect Harz, but still Dill just going a little bit too far off stage to try and get something started. Good spot dodge though to avoid the up tilt. And now oh. we're gonna get a beautiful spike. Dill has definitely adapted. We were talking to Devin a little bit earlier about how Dill can be kind of like a slow cooker. It takes a little bit to heat up. <laughs> and now you can tell Dill definitely firing on all cylinders. Yeah, after eight hours, we finally have chicken marsala <laughs> that we can all enjoy together. Uh, but yeah, and there you go. Once again, Dill smelling blood in the water, going for the jugular, and Rob's the character that can kind of overextend like that, you know, take the heat to take the heat check shot and convert on it. You know, he does have a very ridiculous horizontal killing power. Um, but overextending a little bit here has resulted in a nice combo here uh, for Harz. So he'll slide off the platform, gonna continue the string there, but uh, Dill continuing to uh, add on damage here. Yeah, she really doesn't have to commit to much anymore. Notice how she got the gyro lock a little bit, recognized that Harz was kind of out of there, and then she reset to neutral. Couple of down tilts though, but unfortunately for Dill, Harz just gonna pop up a little too high to punish. Down throw, no party time though. Let's try it one more time. Oh, we're gonna wait it out though. Oh, Maybe up throw at this can point? Can I get four? Oh. No, <laughs> no you cannot. <laughs> Rapid jab though by Har is gonna be able to get set up here, at least only for a moment. Still that gyro coming in as best buddy and Dill just gonna take her sweet time. The up air is gonna take it. Dill up three stops to one. All right, so up three stocks to one. Big here, like you said, this is the biggest lead that any player has had so far. So things have kind of fallen apart here for Harz, unfortunately. However, you know, it's definitely still not out of the realm of possibility here yet. Back air gonna uh, result in an unteckable, and uh, we're gonna have Dill down a stock here. However, Harz is gonna have a lot of work to make up for him here. Yeah. You can tell that Harz is just trying to find a way in past the gyro, past the laser. Going to be able to get something started, though. Finds the witch twist up, and here we go. We're going for round two, but still, Dill, the SDI, the air dodges out of everything has been pristine and on point. Good spot dodge, though. Harz has to fight his way back onto stage here, but here comes Dill. Going to be able to get a nice grab, and now Harz is kind of stuck at the ledge, but still, fighting their way out every single time is looking good. Yeah, listen, it's tough, man. When you're in the corner against Rob like that, he has so many options to just uh, erase your stock. You know, we've seen a handful of them, you know, so far from Dill this set. Here you go, down throw is gonna set up into nothing, unfortunately. Yeah, we're just not seeing the Bayonetta combos come to fruition. I feel like they've kind of like faded across the games one, two, and three. No tech, but there's the rotor arms. It could be it, and it will. Dill will be winning that set. 3-0, great stuff from both players. Like I said, I usually don't see Harz on the Bayonetta, so this was a newer experience for me, but regardless, great showing. I'm sure we'll be seeing Harz later in bracket. Yeah, I mean, you definitely understand why he would have opted to go Bayonetta here. It makes sense on paper, but in, in, unfortunately, in the, in the realm of just being able to kill reliably, Rob is just such a good character. He's saw that spike to start the game off. Again, something that Dill hadn't shown in the first two games. This is gonna be the back air here that Oh, there we go. never mind. It was, yeah, it was be party the up time air. up air. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like we haven't. Dill is not the type of Rob to go for the up air below the ledge every single time. So it's kind of conditioning, right? Like you're already standing yeah. there. You don't think that she's actually going to go for it. And then she does. And then boom, you're you're out of a stock. And then you're just kind of sad. So good stuff yeah. from Dill, though. She's got pools and then she's got to go back to her work as the stage manager. The grind never stops. Never, ever, ever. Does Dill have to escort herself off the stage, or how does this work? <laughs> I think Helper is down there right <laughs> I was going to say, is this like when you plug a portable charger into a portable charger? You just get that loop of infinite energy? No like, way. <laughs> thinking big, Koopa, thinking big. Regardless, so welcome to Let's Make, Let's Make Big Moves 2023 in New York City at the New Yorker.